everyone, it's Job. Welcome back to the channel. Today is December 1st, which means it is December Daily. <laughs> well, it's the start of December Daily. Uh, and I came across a few problems this morning because when I was looking for my insects camera, it was nowhere to be found. And apparently while I was gone in Korea for two years, uh, my sister lent it to a friend and that friend doesn't live in the same city anymore or lives a little bit further away so i can't get it from them today but they'll be away for a bit so i don't know when i'll get that camera back so that kind of sucks and I, I just bought a whole bunch of film i should have actually checked before i bought that film but to be honest i've been eyeing the, the what is it called the instax mini 90 and that's the big brother of the instax mini 7 that i have and it has a lot more features. You can turn off the flash, which is really nice because you can't turn the flash off on the Insax Mini 90. Oh, uh, no, sorry, on the Insax Mini 7. So I might purchase that or I might just wait wait it out and get that camera that we actually own back. We'll see. But I'll keep you updated. So that's one of the other problems I came across today. And also, I don't have any ephemera. So I was really going to use found ephemera and things that i i don't know like use throughout the day like gift card not gift cards um business cards or something like that but i didn't i forgot to get stuff so i did go to a few places today and i didn't get any business cards or any cool things to add into this journal which sucks so i ended up using this painting that i created this morning and it's a pink galaxy and forest landscape scene and I like it. It's in pink, which is a little bit weird for December Daily because I really wanted to stick to that craft or brown and green and red theme. But I guess pink and green or at least forest green look good together. Well, at least in my eyes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to still use it in this spread because I don't really have anything else to use. And as always, I'm going to find a way to use vellum in my spread because, as you all know... I'm obsessed with Vellum. I might as well change my middle middle, middle name to Vellum. Job Vellum. That's my new name now. But anyways. Wow. Okay. Tangent. Um, I ended up stamping my Bushwick stamp set from Kelly Perky on top of the Vellum sheet. And I decided to stamp the words DEC to signify December. And I used a rag to clean off my stamps now because I'm trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly and you end up wasting a lot of wet wipes or towel paper or tissues when you clean off your stamps or when you're crafting in general because when I used to watercolor I would use paper towel to um, dab off the extras well the extra residue on my brush and that's just a waste of paper towel so I've been using a rag and I've just been cleaning it and um, washing it and drying it regularly and that's been working for me so i highly encourage you to do that so we can lessen our footprint in terms of uh, paper towels and tissues when we're crafting so go and get a, an old rag or an old t-shirt and use that when you're cleaning off of cleaning off your stamps but anyways another tangent um, I cut my vellum piece down to size and I decided to cut the bottom edge to look like uh, a banner and it really made that look a little bit more polished and clean and I really like it and I only taped it onto the spread with a piece of washi tape instead of using my tape runner because I wanted to keep it um, like a pop not a pop-up what is it called um, uh, a tip in so you can still move that piece of vellum up and down and that's my phone but yeah so i ended up using that classic -y, not grid washi tape i always use that grid washi tape this is the classic -y green what is it called green collage washi tape there you go so yeah that's the right side of the spread all sorted out so now we're going to move over to the left side of the spread and i have a rough layout on where i want to place those pieces of paper down and i'm using this really old insects insects photo from probably three years ago because i still wanted to use an insects photo in the spread and i have this old test shot lying around it's just a really dark photo 
of trees and I covered it with gold wash tape a long time ago. I think that's when I was just getting into stationery or washi tapes. So I stamped that on. No, I didn't stamp. I am about to stamp something onto that photo because I've been wanting to try that technique for a while now. So I fin finally got around to doing it and I stamped the word oops down onto the photo because the oops is supposed to signify the whole Instax camera conundrum that I um, found myself in this morning. So I stamped oops, but now that oops has a double meaning because I stamped it really weird. I, I think my hand slipped and it caused the stamp underneath to uh, shift a little bit. So uh, the stamp or the ink actually smudged, which sucks, but you can still make out the words O-O-P-S, but yeah, it. I guess it has a double meaning now. And I used uh, a blow dryer to, to dry that uh, ink off and I really want what, what is it called a heat gun to 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 what am i saying oh to dry things off because using a blow dry blow dryer i can't speak right now everyone i'm sorry it's almost like 11 p.m but anyways gotta get this done anyways so i adhered that insect's photo down after uh gluing that no, I use a taper and I, after taping that craft sheet of paper down and I have that same classic-y washi layered underneath it and I cleaned this number date stamp or roller date stamp with my rag and then I used my brilliant white ink and I stamped it a whole bunch of times underneath the, well, well not really underneath, over top of the painting, the pink painting that I created this morning and I just brought it all the way down to the edge of the page and then I layered a whole bunch of red classic washi on top. So, well not on top, on the other side of the spread. Come on, Job. And then I was getting really fussy and I cut that washi tape um, in half and then I ended up cutting it on a diagonal so it would give it a really polished feel to it. And I layered it over top of that green washi that we used to adhere that vellum sheet on the right page. And we're pretty much done. I did the journaling off camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've been speeding things up a lot more because I don't want anyone to sit down for like 30 minutes to watch these videos. And it also takes a really long time to edit or export these videos the longer they are. So I'm going to try and keep these videos um, less than 10 minutes so yeah i hope you enjoyed day one of december daily and i hope i figure out my whole instax problem but that's it for today i can't speak that's it for today i can't say the word today that's it for today folks i'll see you all next time don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with all your stationary obsessed friends i'll see you all later bye <laughs>